Hey everybody, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you guys are doing wonderful. Today I am going to be showing you guys what I consider to be, from previous experience, the very best Louis Vuitton luxury bags to travel with. For any of you that are new and watching, welcome. I do invite you to join my YouTube luxury community by clicking the subscribe button below. I recently did go on a wonderful vacation to Bora Bora. Those of you that do follow me on Instagram, you know this. Whenever I travel anywhere, one thing I definitely keep in mind is comfort. I do recommend backpacks for that reason. I did happen to bring my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs PM backpack with me that worked out wonderfully. This particular backpack does have very comfortable straps. I like to be hands-free when I'm traveling. Besides this particular backpack, I would highly recommend the Neverfull or the Speedy Bandolier because you get to be hands-free. When you are planning a vacation, you might think to yourself that you might go out to a very nice dinner. For that reason, I do recommend bringing another small bag and I do have a few in mind that are extremely versatile that can be used casually during the day and used for those nice dinners. So what I would recommend and what I did bring with me me is the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessoire. I found this to be a great option because not only was I able to wear it casually during the day, it was very, very comfortable as a crossbody, but I was able to transform this into a very beautiful, elegant evening bag. I did bring my adjustable monogram strap, which I will link within the description box below. Brought that because I wanted to be able to wear this bag with basically any outfits and it would match because khaki doesn't match everything, right? I did enjoy using that adjustable monogram strap because I was able to put this coin purse right here, and to me, it looked absolutely beautiful. Another option that's like this would be the favorite. Love that because it will definitely fit all of your essentials while traveling, and again, you'll be able to transform that bag into an evening bag by simply using this chain and wearing it over the shoulder. Also, the Eva bag that has been discontinued, but if you happen to own it or buy it pre-loved, great option for casual wear and then going into fine dining. So again, I do recommend the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire as well as the Louis Vuitton Favorite and the Louis Vuitton Eva. Great bags for versatility. Last and final bag that I did bring with me and I do recommend for travel is a duffel bag. I happened to bring my Louis Vuitton Keep All 55. It was great and the reason why I say it was great is because I was able to put in all of the things that are very special to me, say for example, nice jewelry, things that I don't wanna lose, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on this bag, I'm not gonna check it in. I did do a video on what keep all size is right for you, 45, 50, 55, 60, that is linked within the description box below, and just for reference, airlines will allow up to a size keep all 55 for overhead compartments, something to keep in mind, because I don't know about you guys, but I just don't wanna check this thing in. Also, so airlines do allow you to have one bag and one carry-on. That means you can bring your bag along with a duffel if you'd like. This is your carry-on. So a duffel bag is a great option. Highly recommend it for security reasons, especially for your jewelry to keep an eye on that. This is a great piece and I think it looks very pretty too. I also wanted to add that when you're traveling, it's very important to know the weather. If you're traveling to a place where you're just uncertain about the weather, like I did, a tropical destination, it's probably best to bring a bag that does not have a shetta. Reason being, you might get a lot of water marks on that bag. I recently learned that plastic bags are available for purchase, I saw them on Amazon, to put over your luxury bags. And I think that's a wonderful, wonderful option. If you wanna go with that vachetta, I would definitely consider getting a plastic bag that will cover your bag in case it happens to rain. And I wanted to add, if any of you guys have been to Bora Bora, please let me know. I don't know anybody that's been there besides myself. So please leave that within the comment section below. And then also, if you have any comments or questions in regards to the bags that I did go over that I brought with me, or the bags that I recommended for travel, please do leave them in the comment section below, as I always love hearing from you guys. Now, let the fun begin. Let us go to Bora Bora. <laughs> I'm so excited and they brought my Vuitton Keep All 55. It's the largest one that they'll allow to put in the overhead compartment 
and I brought my backpack because it's so cozy and comfortable on my back. So yeah, this goes to Hershey and I'm about to go on a almost nine hour flight. So wish me luck. The map showing where we are in relation to where we left. So we left San Francisco and we're going here to Bora Bora. And just to give you an idea, we like to go to Hawaii and Hawaii is right here. San Francisco to Hawaii is over there, but we're going all the way down here, which makes it a lot further in distance. But check this out, which is pretty cool. Look what's underneath there. Yikes, ice. <laughs> this is the world we live in. I'm gonna watch a movie right now. Black with monogram works perfectly. No Vachetta allowed on this trip because I know how trouble you went in those. The shuttle ride to our hotel. I don't know where the heck it is, but yes, it's a private one too. I'm Megan. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Come inside. This is amazing. It's a thousand square feet. I'm totally not showing off you guys. I'm just sharing the experience. But you can see down to the water from the coffee table. I'm wearing my multi pochette in Bora Bora. Out here, you have a view from the bedroom, which is awesome, of Mount Atumanu. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Absolutely beautiful. And there is a big walk-in closet, which is really, really good because I have a lot of stuff. And there was even enough room for my husband's stuff. And I have my bag right here that I brought, which was really great because there were a few raindrops when we first got in here because it's very tropical. So I have my Keepall 55, which I brought as well, and then some other Louis Vuitton type of stuff. And then in the bathroom, there is a big shower right there, and then there's a bathtub right there that overlooks that volcano as well, which is super cool. My niece BB and my cosmetic pouch. Big fans at the top. Very nice. And then we'll go outside. And yeah, this is how it is on the deck. And there's an eating area right here. I made sure that this specific resort had two lounge chairs. I don't only want one, I want two. And then coming down here, it's about five feet. Very serene. These are what the mornings are like at the Intercontinental in November <laughs> 2019. Uh, very pretty, very beautiful. The water's so clear. And I want to jump right in the water. So I was walking back to the pool area and I veered a left and this is what I found. The beautiful Pacific Ocean that hits this island and then 
all of a sudden there's that. <laughs> That's the back, huh? and the point is front. Okay? Okay. We need to put the stick here on the back. Because yeah. look, the shell, it's on front. Oh, it's and amazing. On, on the back, there is nothing. Oh wow. We have, we need to put the stick on the back. Okay. Soft, more soft, easy take off. Huh? Okay. Okay, well, huh? It's like coconut. Coconut. <laughs> Shell. Mm -hmm. Okay? There is mouth and I eyes. was just going to say it looks like a face. Yeah. That's face. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. That's I love it. Okay. That's adorable. What are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Almost. Ah, good. Mm. I don't so okay. cool. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. You're strong. <laughs> good to see them. <laughs> Now I know if I ever get stuck on a deserted island to look for a stick like this. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can. Yeah, bravo, bravo. Yay! Coconut, but he doesn't have a face. This is here. Oh! Hello. I see a little face. It's a mouth and yeah. two eyes. Mm. See? E. Hello! <laughs> he says, I'm from Bora Bora. Yeah, it's from Bora Bora. Amazing. I didn't crack it, but I opened it to this point, so that's pretty good. <laughs> so what do we do with these coconuts? Do we get to eat them? Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I love coconuts. You don't even know. For you, you can use a knife to take off. Thank you. Yeah. I, I think will. I fall, huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What's your name? Toero. I'm going to have to say that one more time. To. 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 E. To. E. Ro. Ro. To. E. Ro. Toero. Hola. Megan. Megan? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We do it so fast. I'm making purse. Really? Purse. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Uh, long, long time ago. I don't remember. I think it's better here. <laughs> better here? Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yes. Because it's kind of like. Uh, you have a relaxed uh, life. My channel focuses a lot on, well, on bags, like the Louis Vuitton bags, but also inspiration, like, in, you know, inspiration. But bags, you're making me a bag. And I didn't even know I was going to get it. I feel so blessed and fortunate. I can't believe you know how to make a purse out of that. And you that's so cool that you knew that too. My channel's on it's new oh, for bags, you? on purses. Yay. 
I'm a Tahitian princess. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> so I claim it. <laughs> and look at the purse I got. Oh my gosh. This means so and much your to me. Purse. You Thank can you put so your much. purse inside your, your bags. Yeah, no, but this really means so much to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. No wonder you no live problem. here. See, this is why you have you get to live the life you do. It's so kind. Oh my God. Is this the cutest ever? It's more expensive than any Louis Vuitton bag. Better than any Louis Vuitton bag. And this is going to be on display. <laughs> I wanted to show you an amazing part of this property at the Intercontinental Velasco Hotel. This way you can see amazing waters that are so clear. You don't even need to go snorkeling because you can just see all the fish, really. <laughs> and then going over this way is an amazing view of the huts, resorts, and Mount Altamano. Breakfast. There's a breakfast buffet over here and it's absolutely amazing. It's so yummy. We've been doing it every single day while we're here. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm wearing the multi pochette and it's being worn a little bit differently. I brought my monogram strap, the adjustable one, and then I put the coin purse right here. So it just gives a totally different look to the bag. And I really like it. It's another beautiful day here and we're actually gonna go ATV riding. We're gonna go across to the main island. I guess it's very big over there and we haven't seen it yet. So we're very excited to do that. I'm hungry, I wanna go eat. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this amazingly clear water. I've never seen such clarity in my entire life. The fish are so clear. You don't even need to snorkel to see them, although we did snorkel here yesterday because it's such a beautiful spot. I'm on a bridge right now. In about an hour, we're going to be going over to that mountain and doing some ATV riding. That should be a lot of fun. The water really feels like silk on your skin. It's like a big bathtub. So I highly recommend you guys making it over here somehow, some way. It's truly worth it. We're about to go to that part of the island of Bora Bora, the main part where it's just a big huge mountain, volcano. And we're gonna be doing ATV riding, which should be very exciting. I don't mind the boat ride because look how beautiful it is. We made it very high up into the mountain, very, very high, and you can see different hotels down there. I think the St. Regis and another one called the Pearl Resort. Oh, this is so amazing. It was a little scary to get up here, <laughs> but wow, it's amazing and it's spiritual and I can't say enough. I'll show you guys over here, this view. How beautiful is this? Good morning! It's another beautiful day in Bora Bora and this is a view from our overwater bungalow. The water is just amazing. It's literally like a big huge bathtub and there are no waves and it stays like that all day which is really nice for swimming. We are going to do some jet skiing around the island in a few hours that will be for a few hours so that should be a good opportunity to make some new memories. We're far far away from the hotel right now. <laughs> Came out on jet skis. Look at the color of this water. That's amazing. My husband 
got up to 60 miles an hour out there. This place is so much bigger than I thought it would be. And really, the only way to see it is by just I'm loving the difference in color right here. So beautiful. We just got here by jet ski. Came with a few other people. And yeah, I really can't believe how big Bora Bora is. And come look at this water. <laughs> this is the true authentic Bora Bora. Or side of Bora Bora. I love the coconuts everywhere. I feel like I'm on a deserted island. And over there too, there's more water. So I just never knew that Bora Bora was so big. We're staying at the hotel, you only see one side of it. But when you're on jet ski and you're going all around, you see all the little monsters and little islands. Truly amazing. This is the way to our overwater bungalow, which is up there, and this is the view on the way. That's the main dock where we came in. So every hotel has a dock, and when you arrive at the airport, you have a shuttle, which is the boat that takes you to your hotel, and that's the dock for this hotel. So, so pretty. I'm having a hat made for me. I already had a, <laughs> I already had a crown made, Tahitian princess crown in a purse, but now I'm getting another hat. I made a special private <laughs> show for Megan. <laughs> Can so I give her that? Okay. Hopefully, is it? Ah. Hey. Hey. That's good. You think so? Yes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You are the kindest, Maruru. kindest guy in Tahiti yeah. that I found. Good hearts. I mean, Bora Bora Tahiti. <laughs> <laughs> kindest in Bora Bora Tahiti. That's from Bora Bora. Yes. Okay, thank you. My new friend in Bora Bora just made me the most awesome hat. Check out the top of it. And the other day he made me a Tahitian princess crown and called me a Tahitian princess. <laughs> and he also made me a bag. Now it's time to hit the bag and <laughs> to leave today good news is our flight is until about 8 p.m. tonight we're gonna stay at the resort all day do some swimming definitely done a lot of that I will miss this view this place truly is heaven on earth the best way I can describe it is I feel like I left my life and came to heaven <laughs> and then i will return to my life but the good news is is even though i have to leave i feel different inside uh, it really brings out the best in your spirit the people here are so kind and i know i will be back this is all god made i hope you guys do get a chance to come here this is the intercontinental colossal hotel it's amazing i think when we come back here we were considering the saint regis but it might just have to be this place because it's truly so very spiritual couldn't feel any closer to god absolutely beautiful i hope you guys enjoy